Calculus is like other mathematical operations. Just like subtraction is the opposite of addition, and division is the opposite of multiplication, calculus goes both ways. Now isn't that interesting? One side of the calculus is differential calculus. The other is integral calculus. Integral calculus is the easiest to understand. That's why colleges teach it second. See what I mean about those little tests to see how far you'll get? But don't worry, we'll go all the way. So what is integral calculus? Thanks, Mindy. What? We're on? Right now? Crap! What am I gonna do? I gotta pull myself together. Come on. I'm gonna take a deep breath. Okay, I'm reporting to you live at the scene of the aftermath of this morning's shocking earthquake. The following is a series of images taken by the homeowner just a couple of days ago. I can see the lights Ash goes out and the night's rolling Man, just like a long lost friend You ain't seen in a while You can't help but smile And it's two bad feet on the dashboard Yeah, the love and an old Ford Cheap shades and a tattoo and a... As you can see behind me, this piece of land is no longer even remotely peaceful backyard it once was. Similar tragedies like this are popping up all over the region, just like here. And here! And here! And here! And even here. Tail, get out of my room! Yeah. Ah. <laughs> get Wait, this is just my sister's room! Ah. So this rookie reporter promises, I mean promises, to get to the bottom of this. It appears CSIS has released breaking footage about the cause of these earth-shattering vibrations. <laughs> Sumo wrestling disasters that have been occurring in the area. From news? Yeah. <laughs> Just let me go fresh it up for a second. Oh, I'm back now. Hi, everybody. I'm Celia Dingo, and I am the world's leading specialist in damage due to sumo wrestling. I know, I know. What an interesting field, you might think. The equation, destruction equals time cubed. For an example, I'm going to use calculus to predict the amount of destruction that could be caused by a phenomenon like this within the next three days. That would be Thursday. What a wonderful day. Did you know my son was married on Thursday? So we'll begin by subbing in three for three days into the equation for destruction. D equals time cubed. This gives us an answer of 27. We now continue on with the equation for the cost that this amount of destruction could potentially cause. 
we use implicit differentiation to determine the related rates. Now that we've used implicit differentiation, we can sub in the known values. Now, according to my research, the rate of destruction over time at three days appears to be a thousand. We can sub in this and our other known values to determine the cost after three days. Now, this gives us a total of 2,192,103. This much. Three days, people. Three days. This is what we have in three days. What are we going to do? Come on, people. We have to do something about this. So after a little number crunching, I've determined that the function representing the cost to fix one meter squared of land is this up here. x to the 4 minus 6,000 x cubed minus 4,000x squared plus 25x. What a beautiful equation. X's and numbers, a beautiful fusion of math and passion, all, all right here, encompassed right here. So basically what we've done here is we've taken the cost function and divided by x to find the average cost of fixing meter squared of land. This gave us x cubed minus 6,000x squared minus 4,000x plus 25. Now the goal was to minimize this cost, so what we did was we found the first derivative. And once you find the derivative, you set it to zero and solve for x. This gives us two possible answers, $4,000.33 or a negative 33 cents. That one's inadmissible because it's negative. So if we take our positive answer, where x is equal to $4,000.33, and find the second derivative, we can make sure that this is indeed a minimum. Since this gives us a value that is greater than zero in the second derivative, that means that it is indeed a minimum. So, I guess my work here is done. So let's consider the following. No, okay, I'll get your own lines. Stop using Bill Nye. Okay, if the average minimum cost is $4,000.33, and the government budget is $96,000. See, $96,000. If we plug in the numbers, that means you can repair an amazing 24 meters squared. That's like the size of my sister's room. Wait, what are we going to do in three days? Big sale. Cookies? Cookies, anyone? Where are the cookies? Okay. <laughs> so thanks to Calculus and one amazing bake sale, this community hopes to rebuild itself within the next few months. Peace. <laughs> My delicious peace. Thanks, Mindy. Cut? Yes. Yeah! Taylor, you're so good! Today, rookie field reporter. Tomorrow, Barbara Walters! Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some business to take care of. So thanks to Calculus, and pianos.
This community hopes to rebuild itself in the next few months. Peace by peace by peace.